After losing his unbeaten home record, and now enduring the longest winless streak since 2020, is this the beginning of the end for Max Verstappen's era of total Formula One dominance? McLaren imposed a crushing defeat on Red Bull on F1's return last weekend as Norris turned pole position into a crushing 22-second win over home hero Verstappen. McLaren, which brought upgrades to Zandvoort, has now eradicated Red Bull's advantage to the Constructors' Championship to 30 points with nine rounds remaining. Such was Norris' superiority, it's created a temporary narrative that the McLaren will clearly now dominate the rest of the season. Can Norris therefore take an average of almost eight points per race out of Verstappen to snatch the title from under his nose? McLaren team boss Andrea Stella admits that despite a dominant win for Lando Norris at Zandvoort, the MCL 38's performance is still not enough to ensure that it's the best car at every circuit. Stella promised that more upgrades are on the way as the team continues to take the fight to rivals Red Bull. However, Stella cautioned that the Dutch track was particularly favorable to the car. Stella admits that it's hard to judge how cars will compare at different types of tracks, but he expects Red Bull to still be the pace setter at some venues. But thanks to the upgrades now, we will be more competitive, even where Red Bull were faster than us, potentially, said the Italian. Ever since its Miami upgrade, the McLaren has had a wider setup window than the Red Bull. Set it down on the track and it's quick. That's only occasionally the case with the Red Bull, and this wasn't one of those weekends. Furthermore, Zandvoort, just like the Hungaroring, features the sort of long, interconnected corners the McLaren loves. This weekend, the car got its second big upgrade of the year, adding a more efficient high downforce rear wing to its armory, one which sees it finally match the Red Bull's DRS gain. Red Bull failed to successfully counterdevelop its car to compete with more competitive upgrades from McLaren. Now, Verstappen's lead in the Drivers' Championship and Red Bull's lead in the Constructors' title have been whittled down. After a few laps, Verstappen was complaining that the car just wasn't responding in the slow corners and that his tires were beginning to suffer as a result. The slow corner response problem was only made worse by the choice of a maximum downforce Monaco rear wing. Perez was on a lower one. Tire deg looked set to be very high and the big wing was to protect the rears. Except tire deg in general was way lower than forecast, hence Verstappen was driving a car with slow corner understeer and slow end of straight speeds for no compensating tire deg benefit. So once the new tire grip wore off, he was caught and passed quite easily by Norris, who then pulled away with ease. Though Max Verstappen has kept his composure, his father Joes is furious. Joes Verstappen told De Telegraph after the Dutch Grand Prix. The fact that you have to go back to the car from the beginning of this year says enough. They just don't have it right here at the moment. I think they should take a good look in the mirror. In an effort to at least get a known quantity baseline, Verstappen opted to switch to a version of the original spec floor after Friday practice. Sergio Perez remained on the later one. Initial post-race analysis by the team suggests the Perez floor was working much more effectively. Reflecting on his race, Verstappen noted that the high tire deg contributed to his first defeat on home turf. Today the start was good, and we got a lead in front, which was a positive start. However, once I was overtaken it became about managing my own race. As I know, I didn't have the pace to catch Lando. The car balance has been difficult this weekend. We just didn't have the pace, and we struggled with our tires. I tried my best, but it just didn't work today and we had quite a big gap to Lando. We didn't have our best weekend, and we will go back and analyze what we can do better. However, based on McLaren's recent showing, Helmut Marco has conceded that Red Bull is worried that it could also lose the other title despite Verstappen's 70-point margin. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in.